Hello, my name is Jack and welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to be going through the top games of 2020 that were delayed. That, however, that was due to COVID or whether that was due to developers falling out over arguments on the game. In this video, we're going to go through the top 10, starting with number 10 now. So, starting at number 10, you've got Cyberpunk. Now, I'm going to start off with this one because everybody knows about Cyberpunk being delayed. You know, there's memes all on the internet about it. Uh, and it's a big anticipated game. So the game itself has actually been delayed three times already this year. It was originally released for the April the 16th, but it was then pushed back to September the 17th, which then ran into November, and now we're looking like December the 10th. However, Cyberpunk have assured us that it's now going to be released on December the 10th this year, 2020. I know, amazing. We'll see if it actually comes alive. It's, it's good news for all of you people who have been waiting eagerly for the game. Um, basically, I'll do a very quick summary of what the game is about. In case you don't know, the game is an open world action adventure story which is set in a city which is basically like a nighttime city sort of thing. Uh, the city itself is obsessed with power, glamour, and body mo modifications. Um, and you play as a mercenary outlaw going after the key to immortality. I mean, how good does that sound? It took eight years of development, this game, and players have actually been waiting for uh, for a long, long time now for this game to actually be released. Um, the best bit is you can play as Keanu Reeves. You can play John Wick, basically. I mean, it, but robot version, then mercenary version, and you're after immortality, and there's probably no dogs. Who knows? But that's what uh, that's what Cyberpunk is. It was delayed. And to be honest, I'm going to probably only uh, describe this one very briefly. You can see some of the footage on the screen um, about what the game's about. We'll see more about what it's going to be like uh, when the game's actually released. You know, we've only got, well, coming up to uh, since this video's released, it's only going to be a few days uh, from the release date. But we'll see with COVID and all that. Coming in at number nine, we have Deathloop. Deathloop is a game which was originally set to release on the PlayStation 5 and PC. Um, it was going to be released on the PlayStation 5 with the launch week, but unfortunately the team have asked for more time and to help them stay safe from what I guess must be COVID. Um, it's now looking to be released in Q2 2021, um, so I'm hoping it won't be too long until this game comes to light. The game itself is um, basically developed by Arcane Studios. They're the same company who made Dishonored. Um, the studio said it's going to be a first-person action game that follows two assassins on an island and they're going to be hunting each other down. As the name actually suggests, the two characters appear to be stuck in a time loop and it's kind of going to be like Edge of Tomorrow or any other time sort of film or TV series, I suppose. Uh, the two assassins are going to be Colt and Juliana. Uh, you can play the game as a multiplayer or single player and you basically hunt each other down and, and that's the gist of it. On the main website, Deathloop have said, uh, Deathloop transports you to a mysterious island of Black Reef, where an external struggle between two extraordinary assassins will determine the island's future. As cult, you must find a way to put an end to the time loop, trapping the island in an endless cycle, all while being hunted by the island's inhabitants. Using the powerful weapons and abilities, you'll need to take out eight key targets across the stunning yet chaotic island before the day resets in order to break the loop once and for all. But lurking in the shadows is rival assassin Juliana, whose sole mission is to take Colt out and keep the loop going. Learning from each cycle, try new paths and approaches and break the loop. That is what is being uh, described from Deathloop, the actual site itself. Uh, you can pre-order the game now. Um, you're going to be able to get it on PlayStation 5 and PC. I think to begin with, it looks like they're only going to be doing it on the PlayStation. And the prices are going to be from £59.99 or £79.99. Um, sorry, Americans, you're going to have to translate that to uh, US dollars. But the game itself is looking promising. They've said 2105-2020, um, and that's when the PlayStation 5 release is going to be. That's according to the PlayStation Store website, but we'll see if that's actually going to come to light or not. Coming in at number 8, we have Dying Light 2. Now, personally, this is one of my favorite games. The Dying Light's first game was a fun-filled zombie thriller game um, where you can jump off buildings, you can uh, dance to your heart's content, and basically kill as many zombies as you like. It had a unique challenge, and Dying Light 2 was looking very, very promising. 
However, unfortunately, due to some complications between the devs, Techland have actually announced now that the game is going to be delayed indefinitely. And unfortunately, that's really sad news, especially for people like myself who really enjoyed the first game. Um, basically, Techland, which is the uh, developers, they're a Polish company. They've, uh, well, a few devs have actually said that currently the game is a complete mess. The game was originally meant to be released in spring 2020. Um, this was announced back in the 2019 E3 trailer. Um, but unfortunately, now, uh, due to some complications, I I'm sure COVID hasn't helped with that either, but uh, due to those complications, Dying Light 2 is not going to be coming to our screens anytime soon. Um, for any of you who haven't played it, you basically get to uh, almost freestyle um, play a zombie game and it's got a bit of a story to it. You can play with multiplayer. I think there's about four players uh, that you can play with. But the first original Dying Light saw you play in this survival horror game where you basically could use many weapons or guns to survive the zombie apocalypse. And there was sort of like... Uh, different states of zombies where some were more strong than others and it was just a really good fun game but unfortunately 2020 has affected us Dying Light fans and delayed this game even longer there's not any more information at this time um, and unfortunately I can't provide any other update until Dying Light announced more information this game is just gonna be one of those endless loops where it's stuck there in development coming in at number seven there is some bad news for you Xbox fans out there. We have Halo Infinite. The game which was meant to be a flagship for when the Xbox new series released. But unfortunately, uh, Halo have let us down. Or should I say COVID's let us down? Let's be honest. A lot of these uh, delays, they're, they're all due to COVID. And, and that's the main problem we've got here. The uh, Halo Infinite was meant to be Microsoft's latest uh, game for the Xbox Series X. It was delayed up until next year. The release date is 2021. We haven't got any further date yet. Uh, all we've been told is due to COVID and some other factors, they need more development time to deliver the game for their vision. Um, I don't need to go into a lot of detail as to what Halo is. Um, a lot of people know what it is already, uh, but the Halo infinite game is going to be basically centered around the master chief as you save humanity and uh, there will be multiplayer there will be some more upgrades like uh there'll be a, a day and nighttime circle there will be split screen cult which there always has been in the halo games and there might be a demo on the way as well um another cool thing is master chief is going to get a grappling hook so he might even become like batman and to make it even better, Halo Infinite will have two pugs making alien noises. I mean, how cool is that? How cool is that? We all like pugs. That is all the news I've got, though, unfortunately, on Halo Infinite. There's not a lot for a lot out there at the moment, other than it's going to be released in 2021. It was a highly anticipated game, and unfortunately, we've been let down again by COVID. But the Halo Infinite game is on its way, and it will be here in some time soon. So, Xbox fans, stay tuned, and I'm sure it will be out in no time at all in 2021. Coming to number 6, we have Kena Bridge of Spirits. Yes, that's Kena, not Kenna, it's Kena. I know it's confusing, I thought it was Kena, but no, it's Kena. And now everyone's confused. Kena Bridge of Spirits, it was a game which was meant to be released uh, for PlayStation 5. I think it was going to come on PlayStation 4 as well, and you could upgrade for free. Um, it was basically announced at the PlayStation 5 conference in June, and, and was expected to be released already, but unfortunately, again, due to COVID, there's been more delays. And the developers have asked for some extra time to polish up the game to ensure that it lives up to the people's expectations. Um, the new release date is Q1 2021, uh, so it should be here hopefully in the new year uh, in 2021. The game itself is about an action-adventure game. It's developed and published by Ember Lamp. The story follows Kena, a young spirit guide who uses her magical abilities to help deceased people move from the physical to the spirit world. The game is presented through a third person perspective. The player uses Kena's staff for attacking enemies and her pulse ability for depending, defending against attacks. They are tasked with collecting small spirit companions known as the Rot who help to complete tasks and battle enemies. Um, the game's development has been going on for a little while now. Um, 
<laughs> it's actually created with uh, Vietnamese animation studio Sparex. Um, and it should be released for PC players, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5. Again, at the moment, we don't know if it's going to come to Xbox players. Sorry, Xbox players. That's why you should go for PlayStation 5. Only joking. Don't don't shoot me down. But the, um, yeah, the, the Kena game, it will be coming out onto uh, PlayStation and PC. And it's believed it may be able to come out to um, Xbox, but it's not confirmed yet. The game looks quite promising, as you can see from the footage. It's, it's a bit of a unique game. Um, it looks like a bit of fun as well. But unfortunately, we've got no uh, no more news on that. If you've made it this far, then give yourself a pat on the back because we are now halfway at number five. Coming in at number five, we've got a game called No More Heroes, the third. The game itself is a action-adventure hack-and-slash video game. It's developed by Grasshopper Manufacturer and it's actually for the Nintendo Switch. It's a Nintendo Switch exclusive. I know, it's the first one in the video. Um, it's the fourth installment in the franchise and it's the third entry in the main line storyline called No More Heroes. The game follows a guy called Travis Touchdown and it's about his return to Santa Destroy. He alone must defend the world from an alien invasion led by an incredibly powerful army from the galactic overlord of Prince. Now that took me a while to actually say that, it's, it's a lot more difficult than it says. Um, however, the game itself is a long going franchise with the Nintendo series. You can get the game for average Nintendo price of £59.99. Again, Americans, I'm sorry I haven't translated it for you. The game was originally meant to be released in 2020, but again, due to Covid, the game has been delayed. There's not an awful lot more on the game itself. It's, you're, like I said, an action-adventure hack-and-slash game, and you basically go through killing people while saving the world. What more could you want to do? We have just gone past halfway at number 4, and coming in at number 4, we have the game Outriders. The game itself was meant to be out for the next generation consoles. It was going to come out on both Xbox, PlayStation and PC. But unfortunately COVID and work process restructuring has pushed back the release. Um, the new release date is February the 2nd, 2021. Uh, the game itself is made by Square Enix and they say it's largely complete. However, if you look at the Marvel Avengers game, they said that was complete and there were many people who disagreed with that. Um, although, don't shoot me down, because I actually quite like the game. Outriders, anyway, is going to be coming out on the 2nd of February, 2021. The game itself is basically uh, influenced by Polish folklore. It's about a band of soldiers who are corrupted by a force of unknown origins. They're known as the Anomaly. While trying to colonise the planet, Enoch. Um, basically, it kills many of the invading troops and corrupts the rest with some sort of infectious virus. Um, the game itself is going to follow similar to an MMO uh, style where you have tanks, rogues, mages, and other sort of uh, class roles. But it's all going to be gunplay and focused around that, uh, and that's going to be the main core of the game. Um, you've got your story, which is basically to save the planet and the world, and you're going to adventure through with your friends, if you like, all by yourself, and um, try to save, save the world. That's about it really. The game itself, like I said, it's going to be coming out on the 2nd of February 2021 and Square Enix are quite joyful about the game really and they're expecting promising things so let's see how it turns out and that's what's going to be coming out in 2021. In the third spot we have a less well-known game, Psychonauts 2. That's right, there's a second one. You probably didn't even know there was a first one. I know I didn't before I did some research but hey. The game itself is actually a crowdfunded game um, and it's now owned by Microsoft so it should be coming out in 2021. It's not as such a game which was delayed from Covid but it's more of a game which is being delayed over time and is long anticipated. Um, so although it's owned by Microsoft and it's definitely coming to Xbox and PC the, it, will, it will still come to PlayStation as well. It's a long anticipated game in case you've ever never heard of it basically the Psychonauts game is a game where you follow a character called Raz. Um, he's a young boy gifted with psychic abilities and he runs away from the circus to try sneak into a summer camp um, with those who have similar powers and abilities and has to become a Psychonaut spy. Um, he uses his psychic abilities alongside his friends once he's inside the camp and they basically fight some evil in the first game, overcome it, and that's 
a very, very, very quick summary of what Psychonauts is, the first one. Um, the game looks quite nice as well. It's, it's long anticipated. A lot of players are looking forward to it. I thought I'd just throw it in this list because I know a lot of people are quite interested in the game itself. Um, but that's all the information we've got is... It should be coming in 2021, and we're hoping it's going to uh, turn up on the new uh, generation consoles as well. Coming in at number two, I couldn't fail but mention Rainbow Six Quarantine. This game itself, I am very, very excited for. Another game that was announced at E3 in 2019, Rainbow Six Quarantine is one game which I myself is very much looking forward to. Um, it's based off the Rainbow Six series. Um, I've not long done a Rainbow Six Siege video as well on uh, new console updates as well, but the Rainbow Six Quarantine is going to be a whole new game um, in itself. The game itself has been delayed. Uh, we don't know an awful lot about it. Um, it was meant to be released in about April 2020, but it's now been pushed from April 2020 to March 2021. We haven't got an exact date to be precise. Um, it's unknown why it got delayed, but um, it has been delayed for whatever reason. It's most likely COVID again. Um, but the actual new game is looking very, very exciting. Basically, um, unlike Rainbow Six Siege, where you're playing a PvP route and you're going against each other, this game's going to be very much a PvE game. And there may be PvP in it, but they've not announced enough information on that at the moment. There's just one trailer which just... Once you watch it, it just makes you, uh, it gives me the uh, goosebumps. That's what it gives me. The game itself is set several years into the future, um, and that's of the Rainbow Six series. There's like an unknown alien parasite which is unleashed into the world, and um, the Rainbow Operators, which I don't know if it's the current ones which are in the game, they drop into the quarantine uh, zones to face off against mutating threats. Um, and like I said, instead of going against each other, you work with your friends to fight off the threat. Um, there's not a lot more information on it at the moment. What we do know though is it's going to come to PlayStation. It will be on Xbox and it will be on PC. It's a game that I very much am looking forward to uh, in itself. And again, it's uh, we don't have an exact date, but I believe it probably got delayed due to COVID. And that's why we're now looking at more March 2021. But that could be delayed again. And finally, we're here at number one on my list of titles which have been delayed from COVID and delayed into 2021. The final title I've got is Vampire The Masquerade Bloodlines 2. A highly anticipated game, a game which people have been waiting 14 years. That's right, 14 years since the last game was actually released. The last game was released in 2004, I believe it was, and the game was meant to come out in 2020, at about March time. It was announced back in the early 2019, and fans were delighted after the 14 year wait. Um, the game itself, if you never heard of it, it is going to be a sequel. Um, it's a sequel to the other game Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. Um, it's a 2004 title, um, and basically it's a mixture of first person role uh, playing game, which has an immersive sim element. Uh, the story itself is from Santa Monica in Seattle, where your character and numerous others are turned into vampires. So yeah, you get to play as a vampire. How cool is that? Um, as a vampire in the world of darkness, you have to figure out your place and um, just have a go with your vampiric powers. Um, every decision that you make um, will impact on our decisions later on. And basically, play through the story mode as this vampire um, it's quite a bit difficult to tell we haven't got a lot of information at the moment as to what the second sequel is going to be about but I know a lot of people are highly anticipating this game the downside is it's been delayed I mean the fact that it was um, announced in 2019 and now we're coming up to a 2021 release without a month um, actually being announced it could quite possibly be in the delayed again till 2022 um, but that is the final game on my list it's actually a very exciting game that a lot of people have played uh, when it first came out many years ago uh, the new game itself looks really really fun to play um, it's a game that I think I'll be probably trying out myself at some point but uh, for the minute that is the last game on my list for uh, delays
There are some honourable mentions which I'm going to come on to next, but these games have been released or will be released very, very soon, which is why I haven't added them into the 10 games of my uh, choice. So my bonus content for the games that have been delayed due to coronavirus or just delayed in 2020 um, starts off with World of Warcraft Shadowlands. World of Warcraft Shadowlands was originally announced for the 27th of October um, 2020 but unfortunately there was quite a quick release um, from the developers saying that it's going to get delayed till November the 23rd 2020. Okay given it was only a month and we should be looking at the or we've already got the new Shadowlands content out by now. Um, World of Warcraft fans were a bit devastated when this news came out but now Shadowlands is actually on its way. I know World of Warcraft fans are loving the new content. The next other bonus game is Skull and Bones. It's an upcoming pirate game. Um, the upcoming pirate game was set to be released earlier in this year and it did keep suffering delays but it's now looking to be released in March 2021. There's also Guilty Gear Strive, that's a game that's been uh, delayed and is looking to come in 2021. We've got Tales of Arise which is also coming in 2021 and finally Kerbal Space Program 2 um, which is also meant to be coming in 2021. All the games I've mentioned today are games that were delayed either due to coronavirus or other problems uh, in 2020. There are probably other games which I've missed off the list, but unfortunately 10 games um, was sort of the maximum amount I could kind of add to the list. Um, and uh, it's in no particular order, this list. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and found it informative. If you kind of like this sort of content, let me know in the comment section below and I can try to create some more. Um, I, I quite like doing the research for you guys and putting it into a video. I, I get that it's kind of a longer video today, but let me know what you think in the comments below. Give me a like and if you enjoy it, subscribe to the content. Thanks again guys for watching. I hope you found this useful. Bye.